So this is a pin vise, or a pin drill, or a twist drill. And they can get electric versions of this. So with this, I find I have more control. I can control exactly where I want the drill bit to be, and I can know how how deep it is and make sure I'm not going too far off. Now most of these are very similar in design. So with this one here, you've got a twist bit at the front here. And in this, if it goes all the way off, okay, you've got the, the bit that holds the drill bit. Now it has two ends. So this one has a larger diameter and a smaller diameter to hold smaller and larger drill bits. Now what's handy though, and I didn't twig this for ages when I had my first started using this, I was struggling trying to find the right drill bit size I wanted. So what I hadn't figured out before, was if I undo the bottom bit here, there's another one, okay, with sort of an in-between sort of size. So looking at these ones here, a very tiny one, it's a very, very tiny one, and there's sort of a, a medium-sized one there, and spin around, okay, and you can see the difference between those two drill bits there. This one here will hold a standard drill bit you might use in a, in a power drill for DIY. Put this back together again. So we want a small one, this one here. So I'm going to use this one here. So I'm going to put this one in that in there, and then that goes on there like that. Now one thing to note, okay, if it doesn't fit properly, you've got it on the wrong end. Okay, so all you have to do is just twist it around to the other end. Da da da. Then put that back in that in there, and put the cap back on again. Okay, next bit you're gonna need is some drill bits. Now these ones are tiny, as you can see there, some of them very, very tiny. The one mil one there, that's what I'd normally use for pinning joints and that sort of thing. Small ones are, yes, for tiny holes, obviously. And they're also really good for pilot holes. So, so fine, you can really easy to put it exactly where you want it. Drill a small hole, first of all, and then use the bigger size to get the diameter of the hole that you want. Now, depending on the barrel of the weapon I'm using at the time, I can go all the way up to the largest ones, and depending on the size that you want. So first of all, on this one, I'm gonna do drill up a small pilot hole. So I'm gonna get a tiny one. All you do is put it in the end of your pin vise, then twist it tight, make sure it's in the center, and that's not going anywhere. So all you do now is get the mini that you want. As you can see there, I've not drilled this one yet. So there's a bit of flash still on the end there. So I'm just gonna file this flat a little bit. There we go. And then there's a number of ways you can do this. You can cut across the end of it to find the center. You can use a thumbtack. On this one, I'm gonna use a small, the small drill bit. So you want, you want a gentle pressure pushing forward. So you put it in the palm like that, grip it like so, and just gently twist. Now, you want, you want enough pressure for the drill bit to go forwards, but not too much. If you slip and it goes through, this will go straight through your finger, and it will hurt a lot. So you need to be careful with that. Just enough pressure to give it enough bite, but not too much that it slips out. And there you go, so now I've got the, the pilot hole. I'll take that one out, go for a larger piece, loosen it off, put it in, tighten it up. And then just gently, gentle forward pressure, and just twist and throw your drill. Take it out. And there you go. What you can do then is to, just to finish it off. If there's any spur across the top, a gentle sand, just to tidy it up where it bit into the plastic. There you go, one drilled barrel.